Scores of stranded passengers to Tobago as the ferry was turned back due to mechanical issues. In recent weeks, travel on the inter-island sea bridge has been plagued with delays and cancellations, and this has led THA minority leader Watson Duke to call for a general election. At the port of Port of Spain this evening, Mr. Duke said if the Tobago ferry does not sail by 8 this evening, he wants a general election. Ian Wayson has more. Passengers claim they have been waiting since as early as 3 this morning to go to Tobago. But over 13 hours later, they are still in Trinidad. This young lady, tell them. Three o'clock, we here, we want to go home. Say it again. Too much pressure. It's since 3. We want to go home. Vendors have also been affected by the delay. Vendors have reported to me that they have lost in excess of $75,000 of goods. All my goods. All, right there. All is not lost as yet. This is why we're saying go over tonight. All right? If the board doesn't go over tonight, they will run the risk of losing about half a million dollars in perishable goods. THA minority leader Watson Duke is threatening to resume the protest he started at the port earlier. If by 8 o'clock, as we were assured, by the CEO of the port, Mr. Grant. If by 8 o'clock the boat is not ready for sailing, we will be calling the PNM Trinidad and Tobago to call national elections. Monday's ferry problems arose after the captain of the TT Express experienced mechanical problems on the vessel and called on the passengers to disembark after returning to Trinidad. The TTPS is the same vessel that Transport Minister Rohan Sinanan announced was due to go on dry dock in June. Ian Wason, C News.